hi guys what is up and welcome to my youtube channel my name is consola takapui and i'm so excited to have you here thank you so much for subscribing for sharing for doing everything on this channel i'm so humbled to have you here. i'm honored to have you here so indeed this is my first video of 2022 and god has taken me so much on a journey of just being present for the longest time i am that girl that's a visionary i see things 10 years ahead and god has given me glimpses of what my future would look like but not like everything so i kind of know the direction in fact i not kind of i actually know the direction of which my life is progressing right but so many times i've realized that i haven't been present to actually enjoy to be present in this moment right here right now like to be here to be present here to enjoy the now because the now actually allows me to be able to prepare for then here will prepare me for there so basically i am a member of transformation church led by elite pastors pastor michael todd and pastor natalie todd and i'm so humbled that you know as i was going through this discovery that i need to be present right here right now god also gave the same message to my pastors i know it's online and some of you may be like hey you know it doesn't really matter but that word really connects to me like almost every service i'm like god this man speaks to me even more than physical pastors sometimes but i connect with the words that shared a transformation church so much so the theme for this year a transformation church is here is holy where here is the present here is the now here is the right now not the future you know how sometimes we're so calculative we're trying to quickly move on to the next thing and sometimes we actually don't hear what god is saying or really be able to be grateful for what god is doing right here right now so if anything god has taught me to be present to hear him now though he has given me glimpses of my future of my purpose but to enjoy the process now so many times it doesn't actually feel like God is present but the fact that he gave me a go-ahead even though God has given you a go-ahead to do something it doesn't mean that it's going to be easy and in the past year that's so much of what I've experienced and I'm just so grateful that though it was difficult like God actually allowed me to move out of home to be able to live on my own but at some point I could not afford the rent like it got to the fifth and I didn't have have rent coming from my mom's house where she provided everything i was literally shocked like god you have forsaken me for two whole days i cried i literally just wept and i am so grateful because this is also my birthday week i am turning 25 years and i am so grateful for what god has done the ways that he has used me and i am so so absolutely humbled that you know the lives that i've impacted from such a young age Age, the grace that he has given me I totally give all of the glory all of the honor to him for enabling me for giving me the strength to keep moving forward like it can literally only be God I can only say yes Lord use me as your vessel but really it is God that gives the strength to do some of the things that I do like on my own I would never absolutely never be able to do it anyway going back to here is holy according to our definition as transformation church it says here is holy means that the awareness that your situation is sacred and being intentionally used by god to prepare you for your purpose so whatever the situation that i will go through in this year i will move knowing that my situation is sacred like god has placed me in that season for a particular purpose and this also comes from exodus chapter 3 verse 5 where moses is in encounter with god and he's instructed to take off his sandals for he was standing on holy ground that alone 
for me resembles vulnerability these are the three habits that we are developing in 2022 that we just give ourselves to God we allow ourselves to be vulnerable so many times we will not feel adequate we will not feel enough we will not feel like we are worthy to be used by God but there's so much power in being vulnerable going before God and saying God this is exactly how I feel I feel like I'm not enough I feel like the losses that I've had are too much and I don't think I can move forward. There is so much that you can be honest about to God and really tell him, this is where I'm standing. I'm trying to get off this addiction, but I find myself going back. I'm trying to have a positive mindset, but I find myself going back. And to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit, to move when the Holy Spirit says to move, to move in purpose. If you know that something is not a part of your purpose, please, by all means, do not do it you find that when you do something outside of your purpose it leaves you extra strained and leads to fatigue sometimes you find yourself opposing things that you'd have originally said for example you could tell people it's important to wake up at 5 a.m and actually recommend them you give lessons on that but when you have fatigue you find yourself contradicting yourself that no you don't need to wake up at 5 a.m yet you spent so many years actually teaching people to wake up at 5 a.m this, these are the effects of not actually being sensitive to the Holy Spirit. So many times God will tell you to do something, to be obedient. And I think in this year for me, that is something that I've really learned. Like I applied for a major gig that was going to change my life, like absolutely change my life. Like it's something that I've always wanted. I had actually, you know, signed up with this agency and I was going to get a major gig. Trust me, my life would have been at another level. <laughs> okay, according to what I thought, like what my physical mind thought. So God allowed me to go through the interviewing process. I actually got a response saying I was shortlisted as one of the candidates for the position. Then just the day before we did a test run, where I was actually going to be, you know, before cameras and, you know, speaking, doing my thing, hosting and etc, etc. God says no. This is not what you're supposed to be doing. But that really came from a place of being sensitive. Like it was a test of obedience that despite me calculating and realizing that, okay, this might be the only chance that I'll actually get to get such a gig. Or even the next time that I might see an opportunity with that agency. But they would probably think that Consolata is not reliable. So we can't actually give her the gig. I calculated everything. How, you know, I told my mom and told my mom to pray for it like on Wednesday I'm going for a test run only to find myself actually not going but if we are going to prosper in purpose we have to be able to be obedient like God will tell you to do the craziest things things that you wouldn't normally do on your own but when we move in obedience when we trust fully trust knowing that even if I face significant losses due to the pursuit of purpose God will restore a hundredfold he will multiply because he is a God of ability he can do all things but fail like he will literally fight your battles for you but sometimes it requires obedience so even up to this day I haven't gotten a gig that's bigger than that but I still have trust I truly hope that God will give me something greater than myself something that I could never imagine because there's always a reward for obedience so my words to you this year as I also start my 25th year is to be obedient don't try to follow trends like people are gonna want you to even create content or do things that you know you know this is not God's plan for me and sometimes you will feel pressure to actually do that but that's not God's word for you Sow seeds of obedience because there will be a bountiful harvest. You will be surprised at what God can do through you, in you, and around you when you obey. So remember to be sensitive. Avail yourself to be used by God in this year and be vulnerable. Let him know the place that you're in. And remember that at some point you will fall, but you have the Lord who holds you with his victorious right hand and can literally 
lift you up when you feel that you have no strength get a community that you can affiliate yourself with but don't force yourself into friendship groups god will give you destiny propellers people who will accelerate and help you to get to the place where he desires for you to be so once again i keep saying this is my word but hey here is holy we are celebrating the now take time to rest re ask for redirection from god don't just be doing things but do only that which he says to do move when he says to do speak when he says to speak and nothing actually beats that feeling of knowing that this has happened only because i listened to god so thank you so much for engaging with my content thank you so much for being used by god in my life and constantly encouraging me sharing your testimonies of how maybe a word that i shared or something that i did actually helped you i truly hope that in this year we grow together we continue to see god and god's glory literally shines on this channel on my coaching page a trailblazing with consolata on my content creation page like lifestyle and christian content at consolata Gapuya, and as well as our ministry at princess to my daddy i hope that you guys do enjoy we have amazing amazing projects that are happening this year i'm so grateful that i get to do life with you guys so thank you so much i'm so humbled by god's love for me that it continues to choose me over and over again like i don't think i'm worthy like i'm honestly if it were up to me i would never actually do all of this that i'm doing especially after writing my book princess to my daddy i didn't actually think that you know god would keep giving me revelation i thought that was the end for me but god has continued to choose me over and over again despite how much of a sinner i am but he's continued to love on me to embrace me to want me to need me and you know there is no better feeling than that of knowing that i'm loved cherished and just you know god's love is really overwhelming for me and if you need anything if you want to comment comment in the comment section below give video suggestions of christian and trailblazing content obviously i love you so much do tune in forever share this link with someone and i hope that somebody will be encouraged and to make sure that you subscribe i love you so much till the next video bye Bye.